Hello and welcome back to Luke's Loma. As you might know from one of my older videos, I have an airsoft rifle. And it's a quite powerful one for an airsoft rifle with 3.6 joules. But I also get another less powerful airsoft rifle in World War II style. And I also have this little airsoft pistol. And in this video, I want to see if this pistol with its maximum 1.3 joules, as this label says, is really that less powerful than this AR-15 M16 type rifle. And of course we won't test this with a boring chronograph test. We will use the CDs for it. And I have like 5 million of those old Gamestar magazine CDs and DVDs. And I think they deserve their own Viking funeral. Just without fire and with airsoft BBs shot at them instead nearly identical. This all will be filmed with the Kronos 1.4 at 1500 FPS and right in the beginning I think this will be way too slow even for an airsoft BB but let's find out. First shot with the pistol about 5 meter range and I have no clue through how many CDs this BB will go. Maybe not a single one but for the case I totally underestimated the power of these guns. I put like 20 CTs in a row, so I'm very sure there's no way they will come through all of these. And after two times failing to trigger the high speed camera, I finally managed it and let's see the slap. And as I expected, 1500 FPS are way too slow for this kind of shot, so no way. We have to go faster and lower the resolution. And do it again. 3500 Interesting. This time the bullet punched through one, two, and cracked the third one. And the last time the first one got shattered, but it didn't even touch the second one. So let's see what happened in the slow mo. And as you can tell from the slow-mo footage, even at lower resolution and 3500 FPS, it's still not enough. So we have to go slower. Way, way slower. So again, we set our resolution down to about 640 by 240 and make it even a little bit smaller to get 10,000 FPS. And hopefully it's fast enough to catch the much faster flying BB of the World War II style rifle. Okay, so let's see what we got here. The bullet ran through one CD, cracked the second one, and so it doesn't even touch the third one. So what happened here? The bullet was moving way faster and it was even a, a heavier bullet, so we should just test it again. Okay, as we can see from here, the BB ripped apart the first one and didn't touch the second one. What's happening here? The bullet is going way faster and it is heavier, so let's see the slow-mo. The two Jules rifle accelerate the heavier BB faster and had no chance to shut through three. 
so I'm wondering how the 3.6 joules AR15 with an even heavier BB will perform. And again, ripped about the first CD, and the CD in the second row hasn't even a scratch. Second try, same result. In the next scene, I align the shots of all three guns. We can see that all three nearly moved the same speed, but the 0.3 gram BB of the pistol just punched a hole through the CD, where the 0.3 and the 0.4 gram BBs release all their energy on impact and completely destroy the first CD. Maybe the cracking CD is the reason why the heavier BBs just can't go through as easily as the lighter ones. And with that cracking, they take out most of the energy of the BB. In the end, I had so many CDs left that I decided to empty some magazines of the pistol and the AR-15. And here you can really see that the AR is way more powerful. In the beginning, the pistol will just punch a lot of holes through the discs, where in the end, the AR shatters most of them. I think I will make a little compilation of this, how it looked in slow-mo. With classic music. Let's see what the future brings.